Hello and welcome to Park Essen. My name's Jake and it's very cold and very rainy here at Flamingoland. But today I thought I'd do a bit, a bit of a different video and I'm basically going to show you around in there. This is the aquarium. It's one of the more forgotten about areas here at Flamingoland. But I thought, seeing as I'm here and seeing as, well, I'm running out of video ideas a little bit, I thought I'd go in and show you around. Uh, this is the giraffe encounter meeting point. These are the classic Coca-Cola vending machines. They haven't been in use for many years. We'll make our way in. Just on the right here, there's a private staircase. I've always wanted to go up there, but likely never will. Um, there's a, a, a wet floor or something. And this is the point where the, the video quality deteriorates because there's flashing lights in here. I don't want anyone to be unwell. This is a fly river turtle, apparently. He's very cool. There's a couple of fish in here as well. Hello. He thinks he should subscribe. Yes, yeah, so it's just a little aquarium, although despite its size, it is home to quite a lot of fish. There's over 40 species of fish in here, uh, ranging from fly river turtles that you've just seen to uh, these things. These are pacus. They're very cool. I find it really cool and sort of interesting watching fish. I don't know if anyone else does. Well, I hope you do because you're watching the video, but something really relaxing about it. As to where the aquarium is located, it is just opposite the Ohio enclosure. You can probably hear that. Uh, we are actually underneath the sea lion show at the moment, so you do occasionally hear the odd sea lion roar, which is really cool. You can also, they're not going to come out now that I've mentioned, but there's uh, a load of these little windows along this wall, and you can usually see a sea lion, but they don't, turn, they don't seem to be in the pool. I can't talk today. I know this is the high quality content you subscribe for. Over at this side, you've got these fish. These are called, they're not called plastics and pollution. That's something else. In here, we've got some butterfly some things. I'm not gonna try and pronounce that. Very cool. We've got one, one atmospheric light that is making absolutely no difference. In here we've got some, uh, some, uh, what's it say? I can't see it. Uh, Frond hoser chill, yeah. These are very cool. There's some uh, little ones as well. I don't know if you can see those. And then in this, in the, and then in this enclosure we've got some bricks. This is very cool as well. Got some more fish around this side. We've got Lake Victorian words I can't pronounce. We've got Clown Lab, same word I can't announce. Pronounce, can't even say that. We've got golden julies in this one here. These are very cool, little guys, very nice. I will say that all the sort of tanks are really nicely themed. They're very interesting. I think the fish probably have quite interesting lives as opposed to you go to some aquariums and all the tanks are really boring. These are quite good. And then these over here, these are actually new. These are, if it can, cherry shrimp. So these have been put in very recently and uh, you can't really see them, but they are a tiny, teeny, tiny fish, which is very cool to see. It's quite dark in here, but there's a blind cave fish. I'm not, su I'm not surprised they're blind because it's so dark. Uh, they don't have eyes, apparently. We've got this information board over here, which uh, talks about water and rivers and stuff. And then over on the other side, you've got butterfly goodyeds. Good, good yeah uh, and these are absolutely beautiful this is a really nice tank as well and it shows up very nicely on camera compared to the other ones and then around this corner you've got these well you can see the other one over there there's two tanks here that are currently closed due to redevelopment um it is quite often that they get new sort of tanks and exhibits in here it's not unheard of for tanks to be left like this uh, they look tidy. I like that they've started putting the boards in instead of leaving it empty. I really appreciate that. But it is very cool to see them sort of trying to get new fish and stuff. You know what I mean? These are yellow lab kicker lids. They're not definitely not called kicker lids, but these guys are exceptionally cute. And a little bit brainless. And the last fish I've got left to show you before I talk a bit more about the aquarium itself are the lyril. I need to stop trying to say that really, don't I? And these guys are just chilling. They're just vibing. 
That's fair enough. Very cool. Now this is the bit that I find really interesting. Um, as with a few aquariums, uh, there's a big window and basically a, a thing that shows you how stuff works. Anyway, um, so that's a box of wires over there, how it works, nobody knows, good one. It's a switch that does nothing, even though it's plugged into something. Okay, uh, there's, you know, there's, this is really good, and I'll talk about this in a minute. But yeah, as for the aquarium, that is about all there is in here. Um, there's quite a good mix of fish, um, I'll, I'll review it outside. So the aquarium, what is it like? Well, it's, first of all, it's good to have. Um, it's definitely better than having nothing in that space. Be, yeah. What I will say is it does lack a bit of audio. Some more, some more atmosphere in there, it'd be fantastic. I think it's something that the park should look to invest in in the next couple of years, is getting a, an audio track. You could even source one online. You don't have to be making a custom one. But I just think that that would be a really good move for the park. And it also brings some more people to this end of the park where the animals are. So, uh, uh, so yeah, I think fantastic collection of fish. It's really well maintained. It's clean, but it just lacks a bit of atmosphere. There's sort of, there's quite a bit, uh, like, uh, like a, a decent bit of theming in there. There's um, sort of, there's some leaves about. There's a little bit of lighting, but it just needs a little bit more, in my opinion, to make it a bit more of a draw. It is good though. I very much enjoy my visits to the aquarium it's free to enter you can just walk in as you saw earlier in the video and yeah yeah that's all for me today i'm uh, just outside the tiger enclosure i think but yeah um thank if you enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel there will be daily uploads until the end of 2024 and yeah thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye